My shenanigans complete. We're gonna progress a little bit with the main story until new shenanigans show up. That's just how we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hadn't activated these shenanigans yet. <laughs> it's a degenerate. Who's that, Sujimai? <laughs> Jeez, the hell's up with this guy? Just another crazy off the streets. This is a Sujimon. Okay, guys, let's do this. Roger. Oh, the same. Oh. I'm up. <laughs> yeah, I just think this is the first time you hear this music. This is this song is like a remix of a Dragon Age, I mean, not Dragon Age, <laughs> Dragon Quest boss stage. Let's do it. Because Ichiban loves Dragon Quest. And so do a lot of other people. But it's so nice on me. I got Dragon Age on the brain because they announced. There's been, well, they didn't announce nothing, but there's been rumors. Rumors about when the next game is coming out. That was easy. Man, what was his problem? I swear, sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. <laughs> I'd really rather not. Ah, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. <laughs> Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I get Sujiman your interest. Sensei. How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. Yeah. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. I don't know. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. This place I call the Sujimon Center. It's a fully functional research lab. Why, well, there's a man in, in a box? In fully random office room. Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujimon are monsters of men that make you super jittery. But super <laughs> jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujimon. Uh-huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Mm -hmm. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're Perfect going sense. around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. I mean, the Sujimon champion. With all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? 
Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters <laughs> or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Looks like the type well, of idiot you, find your you need. Let's roll, number. Come on, hear me out for a minute. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. No, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly, yes? So, I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. <laughs> Hear that? A steward Ichiban. I guess I do like completion rewards. <laughs> Fine, we'll do it. This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Yeah. Glad you understand. In the Let's next game. To it, then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all the work. <laughs> As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Hey, time to earn your keep. <laughs> Use your starter. Who are these goons. Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? I'm not sure where you're going with this, but... Alright, we, we pick a Bulbasaur, of course. Well, let's go with green. Okay, then. Green it is. Alright! You two, give green here some backup. Now, give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Of yes, course. in fact, I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! <laughs> Get ready for a Sujimon battle! This is so dumb. I love it. Let's go. Oh, this that is so was apparently so popular. That it was so popular. Midori Kawa. Akai and Aoki. <laughs> Great. So this game, it was so popular, the whole Sujimon thing, that they expanded upon it in the game. <laughs> like, it's just too good. Everyone loves it. And the 3v3 is complete. <sighs> Impressive! Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up and you'll be the best, like no one ever was. <laughs> That's kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? Ignore all. Oh no! Don't don't look at it. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm missing some. I bet they're in that dungeon, that special dungeon I didn't complete. 
That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And, as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget! The world's counting on you! So you gotta dispatch them all! Then you'll be the next Sujimon <laughs> master! I turned to the camera! <laughs> uh, in case you didn't notice, this is a Pokemon parody. Yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna skip the part where I showed the Suji decks because it transferred over from the last game because that has a few spoilers in it. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm glad it did transfer though. I'm missing a few of them. I think like four. It's part, and I think they're in that dungeon that I never completed. The super mega ultra final dungeon. Because I went in there and I'm like, oh, I gotta grind a whole bunch more even though a bunch of stuff with like level 99 and whatnot I'm like it's not enough it's not enough yeah in the last cutscene if you notice not only did the Sujimon you face mimic the colors of Adachi uh, Namba and Ichiban it was the same red blue green as the starters of course to represent the starters of the Pokemon game being grass fire water and Adachi doesn't say anything in that whole cutscene situation because I'm pretty sure you can just get to this point and act or activate that cutscene before getting Adachi. So they just kind of stuck him there, but he didn't give him any lines. Okay, right, on to the, the actual story bit. We gotta work at this soap land. Mizuki-san, their time is up. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Front desk. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Ew! Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Ugh! Hello, this is Otohime Land. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? <laughs> you're missing too much work. <sighs> and if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. Well. <sighs> I tell you. Girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, he Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. He's thinking. Let him cook. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Hey, there a problem? 
You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? Is this Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga. We need a scram. <laughs> well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. <sighs> you need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, but what about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! No more Ichijo! Ah, uh, Japan. Ejibo, why'd you have to be so intense with that? Was that necessary? <laughs> What's that sound? With the pest called Bleach Japan. Can't believe they're already back. Same guys as the other day. They've been demonstrating in front of my shop for a few days in a row now. Like clockwork, it's a pain in the ass. Uh oh. They're spe specifically targeting you with these protests. Well. You know, last place in the area that's open about being a bathhouse. There's all rebranded as men's salons or bubble massages. That makes it harder for Bleach Japan to build a case against them. So they come after us since we're still open about being a soap land. They think if they can close me down, they'll start a shockwave to clean out the rest of the area. Man, lucky or what? Listen. And Yakuza won't project you. I tried complaining to the Siryu clan once. They had some lame excuse and then they showed up after everything had quieted down. Besides, at least Japan's ranks are filled with the, with the types who read up on anti Yakuza laws for the fun of it. This kind of people are tough for even a Yakuza to deal with. Well, Ishiban's not a Yakuza. He's just some random with a baseball bat. So he can solve it. That's the Yakuza for you. So if I can't go to the Yakuza and I can't go to the police, who do I turn to? Well, Ishiban. Damn. Even my employees are quitting to avoid being harassed. I'm at the end of my rope over here. Right. So that's why you're understaffed. But basically, you're saying as long as the girls stick around, you can still run your business. That said, between Bleach Japan and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around either. <laughs> You don't get it at all. Girls who come here to work already have their backs against the wall. Girls who work here are all Japanese, but... You're in the same situation as an immigrant who came here to get away from whatever it may be. Using a job like this may as well be deportation. They've got no, wo hey, no one to go back to or rely okay. on. Okay. Let's figure it was the money that brought girls to this kind of work. Yep. Of course, a lot of people who come get tempted to this side of things because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think they'll strike a rich without doing any real work. And as things take a turn for the worse, they run for the hills. So I only hire women so far on the ledge, they can't afford to take another step back. Women, look, women like that work like their lives depend on it, and that's what keeps my business stable. Bro, you're just sounding worse and worse by the moment. Hey. Stable my ass? You're just taking advantage of women at their lowest. You're just scum of the earth. See what you will. But lust weighs on the soul just as heavy as hunger, if not more so. Except for lust, you can't just satiate it at your local deli. You have to hold it until you find an outlet. As long as women are willing to be on the menu, men are going to place orders. That's the world we live in. Damn. The realness. Sup? You can be mad at OnlyFans, but they getting paid. Whatever if we drive that guy off, will you hire us or not? Yo. Kazuga, after everything this slime all just said, you still want the work here? I certainly don't. It's, it's all he knows, Adachi. This guy's nothing like Hamako. The world would be better off if we let Beach Japan take him down. Shut up! It's work. I can't afford to turn that down. Ichibad's he's got ideas. They're probably not good, but he's got them. He's gonna fulfill it. I'll take your job. I'll get it done right. 
You gonna hire us or not? Fine. Yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet this establishment is flaunting it in broad daylight. Hey. Working hard as ever, huh? What? You guys, from the other day. Why are you here? Oh, as of today, we're employees. Employees, huh? He's got a lot of jobs in a lot of places. My friends, the accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitution have made themselves known. Hmm? I'm sorry, criminals? If that was the case? Why aren't we getting arrested? The soap lamps are dodging the laws by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone and dark stains on Japan. Let us turn this gray to white. We must bleach it out. Yo. What about you? You think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? Or committed a single crime? True. Of course I obeyed a law. That's the obligation of every righteous citizen. So you've never even, like, taken a whiz outside? That's technically a crime, you know? No. Never once. Not in my life. <sighs> Seriously? What about speeding? Everyone's gotten over the speed limit because they were running late. Nope. Not a single time. Hey. You liar. It's illegal to go even one in KPH over the limit. You have to have done that. Right not. If you doubt me, then prove, prove I've committed these crimes. Yo. <sighs> okay, how about what you're doing right now? All these people blocking a road has got to be some kind of crime, doesn't it? <laughs> you're so ignorant. It's funny. Not a permit! You have permits from the Kanagawa police for this demonstration. Hmm, yeah, a permit to march on a public road. <laughs> you get it now? The police have been magnanimous enough to let us use this road for our cause. But where you're standing now isn't technically the road. That's the soap land. Get wrecked, technicality! Yeah, run away. You just got a little overzealous. Also, it says here that there's only supposed to be ten of you. Hey. I'm no mathematician, but this looks like more than that. We just got more support than usual today. That's the nature of a protest. The number of people can fluctuate up until the day of. If you don't like it, file a police report. Why well, wouldn't get your hopes up about them coming out to do a head count? The difference between 10 or 15 people isn't worth their time. It's certainly not causing any trouble. <laughs> hey, you're on the right track, Kasuga. In that case, I've got a warning for you. Legal definition of a march means you're not allowed to stop moving. If you stop and start giving speeches, that's obstructing traffic. You're right, these the road was predicted on you performing a march. So the fact that you're stopped here is a pretty clear violation. Ah, uh, dodgy with the cop knowledge. <clears throat> Even that's technically the rule, every post that stops to give speeches. And the police are fine with that. Sup? Know what you call that? A gray zone. Ah. <laughs> Lying on a gray area to criticize a gray zone. Man, that's irony. Friends, let's keep going. We're marching. Now get out of here. You bunch of lamos. Prostitutes gotta go. No more easy cho. Watch where you're going or you'll trip. Good one. Good one, Ichiban. Let's see, first we have Ichiban Kazuka, age 42. Oh! The dress is... oh, isn't this the one Hamako runs? Yes. Yeah, we're living on the second floor. You know Hamako-san? A bit, from years ago. Anyway, next is Yunamba, age 41. Huh? Huh? Yunamba? You mean Namba was your real name this whole time? After that whole speech you gave me about homeless people using fake names? <sighs> Shut up! You believe it was fake and that's what's important. You're just gullible. What was that? I'm what? He doesn't know what that word means! <laughs> okay, okay, and the last guy is Tuichi Adachi, who's- wait, age 59? Yes. Yeah, well I had two months to go until I hit retirement, but the Kanagawa police let me go a few days ago. That's rough. What? Huh? That's all? That- what's all? No. I mean, we're a wahi trio of red flags, aren't we? 
bum and next Yakuza and a cop of a dishonorable discharge? What of it? If I was worried about stuff like that, I'd never find anyone to work for me. And besides, I just happen to have the perfect job for you three. What? And that is, I hope you're not gonna make us clean the bass and kick things off. Now I only get that done every six months. Ah! <laughs> what I'm really after is her. Her name's Nanaha. She's been on my top earner. She's been my top earner for five years straight. That's a girl who called to take the day off and do up at her, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Mm. She's your top earner, huh? Yeah. You weren't kidding about these girls being in, on the. Uh, uh, never mind. They told you if all you've got going for you is being human young, you'll never last. Four of us plans appeal is service and love. It's emotional death that makes a repeat customer. Okay. Emotions, huh? I guess I could see that. Uh, and I'm just having to sit down. It's a lot. It's a lot, man. Men are lonely creatures when it comes down to it. Even guys who put up the toughest fronts need a place to be who they really are. The death of a woman's ability to give him that is usually proportional to her own baggage. And Ha's father is of an age where he can't even move on his own anymore. So she quit her job at a big firm and fell into this world to afford him the best of care. Wow. Skipping all the stuff between a white collar job and a prostitution is a pretty brave leap. Yep. That's why she's so good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter who the customer is. All for the sake of her father. But that being said, she's recently started finding reasons to take days off. Hmm. This never used to be the case, though. Between Bleach Japan and Nanaha taking days off, sales are really slumping. That's why I need a hand. What? A hand? Like, on the customers? Uh, listen. <laughs> Daba! Do you see any dude pictures in here? No, you idiot. I want you to look into why she's taking time off. Didn't she say herself it was because of an irregular period? Can't take that at face value, knowing her. There aren't a lot of reasons why someone who needs money starts taking a lot of time off. Think she's got a side piece? Mm-hmm. You do notice industry, don't you? Care to fill in the class? Ichiban lived in a soap land. He knows everything yeah. there is to know. I mean, she could be meeting someone without going through the store. Normally, a customer pays for the service, and that money gets divided up between the girl and the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl can offer a discount, but still come out on top by cutting the shop out. Once they start doing that, the girls start to wonder why they need to shop in the first place. Of course, the shops have strict rules against that kind of thing. It was just an innocent thing at first. Once they get a taste for the extra cash, it doesn't stop. They just start using the shop to lure more customers out into their own business. It's a death knell for some shops. So I want you to find out if she's seeing someone on the side. Sup? Okay, let's say she is. What do we do if we find the guy? Make sure he never wants to go near Nanoha again. And I don't care what method you use. You're a Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. I'm sure you three can come up with something creative. Hold on. Hey, hold up. Shouldn't you be using the Seryu clan for this kind of thing? You already said they ain't gonna do nothing. Think of them like car insurance. If you use them the wrong way, they increase your premiums. So it's cheaper if I can solve problems myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a boss for you. Always has a trick or two. Okay, can you tell us where Nanaha-san lives, for starters? Actually, it seems she's been couch surfing for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some time. Hey. How the heck do we find her, then? You keep an eye on the pocket cafe, she'll show up. She hangs out there a lot. For the price of a cup of coffee, she could stay for hours to use the free Wi-Fi and charge her phone. See you later. So I hope for the best. Get her to start coming back in regularly, and I'll have a suitable payment for you. 
Sounds to me like he hired us as cheap detectives. Hmm. Nanamiya is quite a schemer. He seems sloppy, but he knows his employees both on and off the clock. If he's doing it on purpose, he's good. <sighs> then, doesn't mean he's not scumbag. The bottom line's all he cares about. No. I don't think so, actually. It's Yvonne, what what are you gonna what are you gonna put down? Huh? Maybe it's not true all the time, but yeah, most still plants profit off their workers' misfortunes. You mean like their debt or their family issues? They prey on people like that, right? Basically. Women work hard to get out of that situation that shop supports them. I'm not cool with the way Nonomiya talks about people. But he's not sugarcoating anything either. He understands the reality of the business. Mm. Well, that's one way of putting it. We're up surrounded by every kind of sleaze bag Kamurocho could throw in those doors. I bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for his girls. Uh, Alright. Okay, Chibon, whatever you say, man, you're the expert. And take him any day over some shithead who doesn't care why the girls would get jobs there in the first place. So you're saying because he knows all this information, it's because he cares and not for manipulation reasons. <sighs> well, just because I hate shitheads doesn't mean I have to like sleaze bags. So, let's find this proof and get paid. Okay. Alright, we still don't know for sure if she's actually seeing a guy on the side. Let's start with this cafe she supposedly goes to. 